in previous tutorial friends we have studied about characteristics of sic machine architecture and under this we have studied about memory in this tutorial we we are going to discuss about registers we will know about the registers which are available in sic machine so friends registers it is a one of a small set of data holding places which is part of computer processor a register may hold instructions a storage address or any kind of data example bit sequence individual characters so from the definition friends it is totally clear that registers are memory devices that holds any kind of data also register is a part of computer processor so the meaning is very clear that registers are a storage devices or we can say memory devices one important note friends registers are primary memory devices of a computer and this tutorial we are studying about registers in sic machine not registers in today's computer we are dealing with the registers which were available during the development of sic machine from this diagram it is totally clear that what is the role of registers in processor that is cpu here we see uh, registers are primary memory device and which is connected through ram and controllers and controllers control the disk drive so basically we we are dealing with registers so we see that registers are part of central processing unit that is processor of computer and here we see that registers in sic there are various registers that are there in sic that is simplified instruction computer the first register is a nimnic is a and that is accumulator register second one is index register that is x third one is linkage register that is l fourth one is program counter register pc and last one is status word register so there are totally 1 2 3 4 and 5 totally five registers available in sic computer together with we will see the uses what are the special purpose of these registers which were there in sic computer so friends accumulator register that is a do some a specific arithmetic operation and second register that is index register x which helps in addressing and third register that is linkage register it stores addresses generally linkage register friends it has store the return addresses like when we execute sub routine like j sub j s u b the return address is saved in linkage register now we'll see the use of program counter register that is pc register of sic and sw that is status word register of sic here we see that program counter register pc register a program counter register is in a computer processor that contains the address of the instruction being executed at the current time at each at each instruction gets phase the program counter increase its value its value by 1 so friends we see that program counter that is pc register is a kind of register of computer processor especially in sic register i am talking about which helps in counting basic function is counting program counter and what it counts it counts first firstly it holds the execution address that is address of the instruction being executed at the current time so when the one instruction is over that is executed when one instruction is executed it keeps the record or which i we can tell that it keeps track of that execution so when it faces the in instruction when one instruction get faced the program counter that is pc increases its stored value by 1 so we see that pc increases its stored value by 1 this is very important point friend because uh, program counter register basically keeps track of the uh, execution 
at the current time and when it fetches the first instruction it increase its value by 1 so by doing this it keeps track of the instructions being fetched like when we'll fetch the next instruction it will again increase its value by 1 or depend upon the program counter value that is pc value sometime it may increase by 4 but here it increases by 1 when it fetches the instruction please make a note friends that pc contains address of the instruction being executed at the current time now we'll study about the last register that is sw register sw stands for status word register in a sic computer it is the last register of the sic machine architecture so what is a status word register basic function it contains variety of information including a condition code so friends here we see that it contains variety of information including a condition code condition code is here mainly important condition code it is a code generated when a condition is set up like uh, in any register we discuss about, we, if we uh, take an example in flag register when we set flag it some particular value is set up like some bit sequence 0 1 One zero any bit sequence is set up. That is a condition code. Like for true, false, for true you take zero or one. You take any condition code that is set up in status word register. Here we see a status register or flag register or condition code register is collection of a status flag bits for a processor. So as I told earlier now that condition code when condition code is set up. Condition codes are different codes like zero, one, true value, false value. Some condition code is set up to check the correctness of any instruction, like it is true, true or false, for basic example. So that a status word register here contains condition code. Condition code uh, we can also condition call condition code as CC. cc as condition code if you want to know about condition code in detail the condition code has so many uses in almost all programming languages like in c programming also we set value of flag there also it sets a condition code and follow the instruction according to condition code Thanks for watching this video friends click like please like this video and please do subscribe for latest video tutorial and lot more visit our website www.visheshgyan.in for latest information